All right, a warm day for today. Warmest temperatures of the year so far. We've been tracking this. Now, yesterday we reached those warmest temperatures for downtown Sacramento and Sacramento Executive, just shy for Stockton and Modesto. But today we busted through that. We reached highs in the upper 70s to right around the low 80s throughout the valley. So we haven't gotten the official word yet, but it's very likely all of us hitting the warmest day of the year so far. 70s for the foothills and 60s for the Sierra. And just like that, we're going to turn things around and get rain and snow back in the forecast. Now, if you're still out for those hikes, those walks, and perhaps you're by some of those waterways, it's beautiful. I know wildflowers are out. Everything's blooming, but the water is cold, high and fast. Temperatures in those area waterways are in the 50s. If you go up into the Sierra and the foothill waters, that's about 35 to 45 degrees. Just keep that in mind. You want to make sure you move really far away from that water. Any slipping, it's going to be fast moving if you happen to end up in that water. Right now, the big mountain backyard, clear skies. We've got temperatures in the 70s, 60s up top for the Sierra. But again, we are expecting those changes. Not for tomorrow. Tomorrow's still a warm day. Mid-50s to start us off during the day. At 2 p.m., we're almost at 80. Another day in the low 80s before we start to track those big weather changes. They're brewing in the Pacific right now. It's another cold storm again, a cold spring storm on the way. A few thunderstorms that we're tracking to the north of us for tomorrow evening. And then the bigger weather event starts to move our way on Friday. More widespread rain, though, moving in overnight Friday into Saturday. And this is going to impact almost everyone throughout the valley, the coast, and the Sierra. Snow line is going to start off above the pass level and then come crashing down during the day on Saturday. Anywhere from about a quarter of an inch to almost an inch of rain coming our way in the valley. About an inch to an inch and a half for the foothills and for the Sierra. About two to three inches of snow in that 8050 corridor. Outside of that, though, Carson and Evans Pass, as well as Sonora Pass, about 8 to 12, almost 18 inches of snow. So here you can see how that snow line is going to be coming down below the passes. Bring those chains and be prepared for travel delays. Highs in the 60s, though, tomorrow with dry conditions through the foothills and the Sierra. We'll see another warm day for us before that cooler air starts to move our way. Highs in the 80s, once again, mid-80s for the northern San Joaquin Valley for our Thursday forecast. Chance of thunderstorms overnight Friday through early Saturday as we start to see that transition zone and the rain moving in. This is going to make temperatures pretty chilly over the weekend and then right back to the 70s next week. California weather is a land of extremes. From dangerous heat, droughts, and wildfire. To severe storms, flooding, and mountains of snow. Plus, the occasional tornado. Keeping you prepared takes a team. We have decades of experience forecasting this diverse region. Our job doesn't stop at the forecast. We investigate what's happening to our climate so you can be ready. Helping you prepare for today and stay safe tomorrow with a weather team you can trust only on ABC 10. Hi, I'm Alex Bell. Join me weeknights at 630 on To The Point. Instead of just reporting on the problems, we cut through the noise and look for solutions. We're not afraid to investigate local stories. We're not afraid to include different perspectives. We're not afraid to hold those in power accountable. This is your community and it's my community too. And we're here to make it better for everyone. Join me, Alex Bell, on To The Point, weeknights at 6.30, only on ABC 10.